It might feel like every other day there's new developments about fake meat. Just this week, Pizza Hut announced it'll start offering Beyond Meat sausage as a topping, and McDonald's announced its own burger to be rolled out next year, the McPlant. But why is everyone jumping on the plant wagon, and is fake meat good or bad for your body? First, some background. The main proteins in Beyond Meat Burgers, a popular brand, come from peas. Other ingredients include cocoa butter, beet juice extract, salt, and other normal sounding things. But then there's this pesky little thing called methyl cellulose, which according to Beyond's website is a plant fiber derivative that helps to hold other ingredients together. Now if eating methyl cellulose sounds whack to you, you're not alone. Take a look at this ad that aired during this year's Super Bowl from the Center for Consumer Freedom, a lobbying group that aims to protect consumer choices. Methyl cellulose, it's a chemical laxative that is also used in synthetic meat. Um, why? You might need a PhD to understand what's in synthetic meat. Criticisms abound, but according to the U.S. National Library of Medicine, methyl cellulose is approved by both the U.S. FDA and European Union as safe for human consumption. While ingredients like this might not be in immediate risk, the jury's largely still out on whether these plant-based products are better for our health longer term, because a lot of them are highly processed. In the meantime, there are plenty of companies working on fake meat products that have natural, simple, pronounceable ingredients, like Daring Foods, which makes faux chicken. And then, of course, many people turn to plant-based products because of their environmental benefits, or rather, the benefits of eating less meat due to consequences like the emission of greenhouse gases by cows and other animals. Whatever your motivation is to live that plant life, with so many plant-based options on the market, the choice is in your hands, or should I say, in your plant-based chicken fingers. I'm Nora Ali, and this has been your definitive-ish guide. We'll see you next time.